Meghan smiles coyly as she shares a tender moment with Harry in Cardiff Castle, and gives a nod to her future father-in-law with her Prince of Wales checked top. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were snapped sharing a touchingly intimate moment during a visit to Cardiff Castle today. Harry, 33, was caught on camera as he whispered a few words in his fiancée's ear, eliciting a coy smile in response. The couple, who were delayed in their visit due to a problem with the trains, greeted well-wishers outside the castle before making their way inside for a 90-minute stay. For the occasion, Meghan, 36, chose a pair of black skinny jeans from Welsh brand Hute Denim, which provided the perfect touch of diplomatic dressing, as did an off-the-shoulder top in Prince of Wales check, the nod to her future father-in-law. The couple started their day at the Cardiff Castle, one of the country's most important and popular historical sites. After being given the tour, Harry and Meghan heard performances from musicians and poets taking part in a Welsh cultural festival. They then met with leading sportsmen and women to learn more about organizations working to promote the Welsh language and cultural identity. The pair also got a taste of traditional Welsh cakes during their visit to the historic site. Dating back some 2,000 years, the castle is on the site of what was once a Roman fort. It passed through the hands of many noble families until 1766, when it was given by marriage to the Butte family, responsible for turning Cardiff into the world's greatest coal exporting port. John, the third Marquis of Butte, was by the 1860s reputed to be the richest man in the world. The castle was eventually given as a gift to the city of Cardiff by the Butte family in 1947. Harry and Meghan's official engagement today did not go completely smoothly, as a train delay meant they were late. The couple left Paddington Station on time at 11.15 am en route for Cardiff. But delays to the GWR train mean they will not arrive into the Welsh capital until well after 2 p.m., making them at least half an hour late for their third public engagement as a couple. Besotted Harry, 33, has made a promise to his bride to be to undertake visits across the UK before their wedding, to give the us-born actress the chance to see the country she will come to call home and meet its people. The first fan waiting to meet them was Jen Wilters, 18, from Quihahon who arrived at 6.30 am. She told the BBC, It's fascinating that she's not the typical person you'd expect to become a future duchess and it's just really interesting to see the public reaction to her, she told the BBC. She added, I'm a big fan of the royals. Mainly the Duchess of Cambridge but I adore Prince Harry. I think Harry and Meghan represent the more modern society and it keeps some of the British traditions alive. I've got some roses for Meghan too. Abby Smith visiting from Louisiana, added, in America this is like a fairy tale. I think that's really cool that she from the States and gets to experience the royal lifestyle as well. Later they will travel to the economically deprived area of Tremor Paw, where they will visit Star Hub, a community and leisure center which uses sport to engage young people and aid social development. Harry and Meghan will see how Street Games, which the Prince has worked with previously, works to make sport accessible to all young people regardless of their social circumstances. Doorstep sports session operate in dozens of disadvantaged communities and the royal couple will meet young people taking part in sessions including street dance and table tennis. They are also keen to meet young women from Us Girls Project, set up to encourage women to take part in sport.